I know what you're thinking. Some fool's given him a Sistema to play with. You'd be right. Um, this has come here. This is going to have um, a clean up. Nothing more really than a bit of a service inside. Um, and in the rear of the gun here, uh, the cabling where it holds the batteries is not quite as clever as it needs to be in the sense of when you've got the battery in and you try and move this back and forth with a battery all connected, it's all tight and horrible and not good. So we're going to make some adjustments to the cabling on here. Um, and basically, we're just going to service the gearbox because it's had a number of years of use um, and it's never been taken apart and cleaned. So let's do it. This is the bit of wiring we're going to make an adjustment to. Uh, we're going to make that bit a little bit longer so that as we fold that in that direction, there is a bit more slack to connect to the battery on there. But we'll do that bit last of all. So this is your gearbox in the Sistema, which is tiny compared to what you find in your normal AEGs. Uh, but they've got a very, very clever sound with the gears within this, and they haven't got to worry about things like tappet plates in here either. Uh, so it makes it very, very compact. Um, so let's open it and see what we need to clean up. So this is the workings of the gearbox uh, and as you can see obviously there's all the old grease on there we're just going to clear all that off um, and just put some fresh on just keeps it nice and fresh keeps it happy so it's like a lot of build up and bits around here that you can see so the whole idea of servicing this is just to keep it completely fresh uh, a more gunk in here so yeah we'll uh, clean it up and then get it back together
Now this spring, as you can see, uh, on the end here, has been cut. Uh, obviously at some point in its life it's been too powerful and they wanted to keep the same spring rather than swap it out and they've just cut it. What I intend to do is make that a better kind of shape at the end where as you can see that end comes to a flat because that's the factory end. I'm going to shape the end of that as best I can so that it's flat because the risk there is that when that's on the spring guide that has a habit jumping down the side of it which there you go which that is how I'd found it. And the gun fortunately hadn't caused any problems. Sometimes you can have a problem in other guns where if you have that happen and your piston goes back too far, that can cause your piston to jam and get stuck at the back. Uh, but fortunately in this gun, it didn't really make any difference, but we will improve that end of that spring. I think that O-ring has seen better days. That is going to get replaced, I think. Okay, that's the spring. We've flattened off the end, uh, so it mimics kind of the factory end. It's never going to be a million percent perfect, but it's going to be a darn sight more reliable than what it was uh, in its previously cut state. So we can now put that back together. Right, we have the piston back in the cylinder. We have a fresh O-ring on the cylinder head. That's the old one, that was just old, a bit tattered, well worn, so we've got a nice fresh one on there. So let's get that lubricated and seal the cylinder again. Right, and the spring just goes on the back, and then that cylinder is ready to go. The cylinder's all back together, so so far we've done the gearbox, we've done the cylinder, we're just going to clean the barrel, uh, and then this is all ready to function and be put back together. Right, the last bit we're going to do is make this bit of the cable from the circuit board here um, to the Dean's connector a little bit longer so that we can have a bit more flexibility uh, with it when it's in the stock with the battery. Um, so the first thing we do is get this cable off here so we can put fresh ones on. There we go, all back together, full service on it, so everything's cleaned up, re-greased, barrels all cleaned, uh, ready for action again. Uh, we've adjusted the cables in the rear stock so that that now can now extend and retract without snagging any battery cables, so that's perfect. Um, all shooting well, 